If you're an online business owner or you run a YouTube channel or maybe you own a blog, then you can't run away from SEO. SEO is one of the most important parts of any online business. So if you don't know how to do your SEO right, your business will find it difficult to succeed online because there are so many people trying to compete at the same time to the same audience. So you need the right keywords, the right tags, the right SEO to rank on the top search. So if you're doing Amazon KDP, if you're doing Fiverr, anything that you can ever think of, you need SEO. And that is why I'm making this video to teach you how you can go from amateur to SEO experts using a special tool that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. To get started, the first thing you need to do is to fire up your browser and search for keywords everywhere. I'm going to take you through the process of installing the extension and then show you different ways you can use it. So here is keywords everywhere. So you're going to click on this second option, keywords everywhere, keyword two, and it's going to take us to Google Chrome extension web store. So here you're going to download it, it's totally for free. So all you have to do is to click on add to Chrome. We'll add it to Chrome, then click on add extension and it's going to go ahead and download it and add it to your extensions. So here it has added it as an extension. So all we have to do is to click here and then see the keywords everywhere and highlight it. Okay, just pin it and activate it. You can toggle it on or off. So it's currently on. And then if you want to search for keywords in a particular country, maybe you are in Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, South Africa, United Kingdom, United States, you can use that for your keywords. So if you want to search keywords specifically to Indian. So you can just click on Indians and then it's going to give you keywords, give you data around keywords that is actually ranking in India. If you want to rank in India, uh, but if you want to get keywords that you know, works, virtually works everywhere, then you go ahead and select global. So this is a setting that you must know if you want to use this tool. So that's all you need to do for the installation and the settings. So let's go ahead and see the usage. First of all, we're going to look at the YouTube channel part of it. If you run a YouTube channel or if you intend to run a YouTube channel, I'm going to also show you how to use it in other cases. So let's just go ahead and and visit our YouTube. So now that YouTube is open, let's go ahead and search for a keyword. So I'm just going to just randomly come up with something. Let's search for Figma and see how it goes. So here is the Figma, right? So it's giving us a lot of data here, but I need to show you something. Let's go over to YouTube on incognito mode so that I'll show you the difference with working with keywords everywhere and the normal browser that you have. So we'll just open YouTube here and search for the same keyword so you can see the huge difference between using keywords everywhere and using the normal, you know, stuff, right? So here is the search. You can see it's a lot different from the one we have with keywords everywhere. So I'm going to show you the uses and everything and how to get the best tags for your videos, how to get the best keywords for your blog and everything. And even if you run a Fiverr account or Amazon KDP, you can still get keywords from YouTube because YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. So you can get keywords on YouTube because any keyword that is ranking high on YouTube, if you use it anywhere else like Fiverr or Amazon KDP or any other marketplace or even on your website, you're still going to rank very, very high. So it applies to everyone, not just for YouTubers alone. So please pay attention and stay with me to the end. So now that we have seen this, let's quickly go over to our Keywords Everywhere extension where we installed it, which is here. So now you can see it has given us a breakdown of the Figma keyword, right? So you can see search volume, you can see top channel that is making videos on Figma. You can see two videos by one person, maximum views, 2.5 million. So if you want to make video on Figma, you stand a chance of getting up to 2.5 million views. It really breaks down a lot of things for you and gives you the opportunity to either export the data or copy it. And then if you come down here, you can see the YouTube trend data for Figma, you know, the global trend data. And so I have a community link down in the description where you can join the Seven Figure Boss Academy community where I share content that I can't share on YouTube because there are some things that YouTube don't allow us to upload. Find the link in the description to join the community so you can be part of Seven Figure Boss Academy community where I'm going to be sharing a lot of exclusive tutorials and tricks as well as tips to succeed online. If you want to make money online, you just have to be part of that community. So please go find the link in the description and join 
us. But please do that after watching this video because it's going to take you off YouTube and you need to learn everything that is in this video. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and thank me later. No, let me thank you first. Thank you for liking the video. So you can see that it's a rising keyword and it has not even gotten to its potential. That is why it can still give people 2.5 million views, right? So if you come to the most performing tags under Figma, you can see Figma, Figma tutorial, UX design, UX user experience, UI design and design. So if you're going to be doing something on Figma, you want to inculcate these tags as well because it's related to the Figma and they're also ranked high. You can see the usage 4343345. So this is actually showing that these are good keywords, the most popular keywords around Figma. So make sure you take down these keywords because they are keywords that are related to the keyword that you're trying to rank to the maybe top search or or the first page or anything. So make sure you just use the related keywords as well. It's very important. A lot of people ignore this, but it's very, very important. And then another thing you can see that they do here, people also search. So to give you related search, what people are searching alongside Figma. So if you're working with the Figma keyword, this should also come into place, but I do not take these ones too seriously. The ones I take too seriously is the keyword, the most used tags. You know, that's the ones that I take seriously because they are the most related to that particular keyword and they will help in propelling the main keyword to the top search, right? So all I do, if I'm uploading a video on my YouTube channel, all I do is to come over here, search a related video and look at the tags and see a video that is doing very well and then, and then just copy the tags. So here you can see this video actually performed very well, 2.5 million. And all I have to do is to click here and I copy the tags. So the next thing you're going to do is to come over to YouTube and go over to the tags section, which is this area, and then paste the tags that we copied here. And we have the tags here. The next thing we're going to do is to look for more tags because there are still some space remaining, like it's 464 over 500. So we're going to look for more tags and then paste it. So assuming you're using it for this, all you have to do is to go back to that session and look for another video that, that has good tags and the video is doing well. Okay, as you can see, this one is 1.1 million views and it was two, two years ago, but it's still getting 30 views per hour. So the tags here are okay. So all I have to do is to just copy it and go over to the other session and paste it like so. And now it's going to be over. It's going to be a little over. So all you have to do now is to just delete some. All right, and so we have the tags complete. So this is how you can get your tags for your YouTube channel, get good tags for your YouTube channel. So you don't need to waste hundreds of hours trying to find the right tags for your video. So with keywords everywhere, you can easily get tags that you can use for your video. So let me show you another way to use keywords everywhere to find the best keywords for your project. So all you have to do is, let's assume that I want to search the same keyword Figma since we're already using it. So I'm going to come over here and type Figma. All right, so it's going to populate and then the keywords everywhere is going to kick in. And as you can see, it's showing us the data of this SEO difficulty is 99 over 100. And then if you look at the global trend data for Figma, you can see the same thing we saw on um, YouTube. You can see the trend data that as of 2024, it was just almost zero. And then you can see in November 2022, it got to 88%. So it has not still gotten to its full potential, but it's almost there. So here's the trick. If you want to rank high using the Figma keyword, all you have to do is to copy those related keywords that we saw on YouTube, this, this keywords, right? The related keywords here on YouTube and try to rank with this keyword. These are related keywords that you can use to supercharge the main keyword that you want to use. I've thought about SEO on this channel. You can go here and watch it where I discussed about long tail keyword, short tail keyword, and all the rest of that. But this is just me describing how to use this tool. If you really want to understand everything you need to know about SEO as a beginner, then you need to watch that tutorial. And talking about that, I also recommend that you go watch this video next to learn new digital skill that is going to help you make more money online. See you on the other side.